Hi YouTube, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. I'm going to piggyback just a little bit off of a previous topic. And that was the one about Candace Owens. Um, do we uh, throw the term self-hate or self-hater around a little bit too loosely? And the reason I'm bringing up this topic is because uh, when I did follow Candace Owens, um, I noticed a lot of times, you know, she was called a self-hater and, um, and, you know, things of that nature. And this is actually something that I have um, had an opinion about for a while. This didn't just come out of thin air. I've said this online many times um, over the years. And one thing that I have found when someone is accused of being a self-hater or they're self-hating or whatever, it was usually over either a superficial reason or it was over um, because someone didn't like an opinion somebody had. In this case, Candace Owens. And a lot of times I've seen um, the term self-hate thrown around. Like if a woman chose to wear her hair straight or a weave or, you know, dyed her hair blonde or wear color contacts. Um, or like I said, in the case of Candace Owens, um, another YouTube person, personality that I won't name because he doesn't like it when you name him because he figures you're a clout chaser. Um but if you're well versed in um, YouTube, particularly conservative black YouTubers, you've probably run across him. But anyway, um, he's also been called a self-hater. And I have to disagree because I feel that when you can talk so passionately about some of the things that's going wrong within your community, I think you're the opposite of a self-hating or being a self-hater because you know that there is so much potential in our communities and you want to fight for it. And a lot of times the truth hurts and people don't want to necessarily hear the truth. Our community a lot of times does not accept constructive criticism at all. And you know, so I have seen that term, you know, self-hate when it comes to, again, the superficial or if you have an opinion that goes against the grain of what a lot of people within our community believe and stand for. Um, for me, my opinion of self-hate is the, you know, the young black males killing each other at an alarming rate. That's self-hate. Um, when you see so many children being raised by a single mother, and I'm not talking divorced mothers, I'm not talking widowed mothers, I'm talking women who had children without a husband, and it's a, a cycle that keeps repeating itself. She may have two, three, four children by different men, or even that one man that refuses to marry her. I see that as a form of self-hate. And there, there are other reasons be, behind that and other reasons why it happens. But to me, my personal opinion, I don't see self-hate when it comes to because you choose to um, wear your hair a certain way or if you choose to put different color contacts in your eyes uh, or even if you choose to, you know, dye your hair blonde or something. Uh, and I certainly don't see self-hate when you have a differing opinion uh, about what goes on in, in your community, in our communities. So um, I just wanted to address that. That's just been something that's, um, you know, been on my radar for a while uh, when I see people being accused of being a self-hater and, and it's usually something superficial. You know, um, a lot of times what I have seen, particularly online, is we as a community, we get so mad and upset about some things that's so, that's not that serious. Uh, another thing, if I didn't mention it, like someone black choosing to date or marry a non-black person, I don't even see that as self-hate. You know, that's who, I mean, unless they're going against people in their race, 
putting, you know, us down because that's who they choose to date or marry. Okay, then that might be, you know, maybe a form of self-hate. And I wouldn't even say that because I, I do believe that there's a reason behind that too. But that is a different topic for a different time. And so I hope I got all of my thoughts out. I had another self-hate video, um, but I didn't cover everything that I wanted to say. So I hope I did it this time. So check out my other videos, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.